Talk to me. Talk to Me is a 2022 horror film directed by the Aussie duo Danny and Michael Filippo, aka Raka Raka. When a group of friends discover how to conjure spirits using an embalmed hand, they become hooked on the new thrill until one of them goes too far and unleashes terrifying supernatural forces. <sighs> finally, finally a horror film that borrows familiar tropes but absolutely makes it its own. A24 in my opinion is one of the best production companies in the game right now. Every film they put out starts a conversation just because of how unique and diverse they are. The Raka Raka brothers. I'll be honest, I had no clue who they were until Talk to Me. And when I saw a bunch of their videos, one thing instantly stood out for me, passion. And it's so evident in Talk to Me as well. When you hear about the concept of the movie, spirits, possession, etc, It sounds familiar, but the way they've done it, it's absolutely fresh and new. It almost feels like a student film if that makes sense. I mean, it is a directorial debut of two absolutely insane YouTubers, and their infectious energy is so visible in this film. I can only imagine how fun it was on the sets. Some of the things I loved about the film. Sound design. Sound design for a horror film is key. Minutes into the film, there's a part where you hear the sound of a pillow, but it almost sounds like someone hit their head on the wall. Now, what does that do? It adds tension. It tells you what's about to come. There's a scene where Mia, played by Sophie Wilde, is washing her hands. Her dad starts talking to her, but we don't hear him much. By doing that, we know exactly what Mia is going through. We're with her. It's little details like that that just, you know, adds a layer to the film. Cast Every single one of the cast were phenomenal. They honestly just felt like actual real kids doing crazy shit like this. They're all actors, but it didn't feel like that at all. From carelessness to shame and guilt, that switch was done perfectly. But the star of the show, Mia. Her portrayal of grief and loss was so palpable. She wants to move on, but she can't. She finds an outlet that she thinks will help her, but it doesn't. Her performance was just hauntingly beautiful. The opening sequence. I'm a sucker for the opening and closing shot as well as the opening sequence. It's so important how you open your film because that sets the tone, the ambience, the vibe. A one take shot is how this film opens. I got chills. A long tracking shot with ducks in a row playing in the back. Pay attention to the lyrics by the way and an unexpected event taking place. All of that combined, I knew what I was in for. Originality. Now like I said before, Talk to Me does use familiar tropes from horror films, but the Filippo brothers keep it fresh. Jump scares are used effectively that aren't just for shock value, but it is used in key moments that move the story forward. And the most important bit, the horror per se, is more emotional than anything. I was emotionally invested throughout the film, and that is where the horror gets you. music I personally thought it worked really well the hip hop almost mimics what the youth is listening to right now they're not going to be listening to scary horror score you know they're pretty much listening to you know mumble rap <laughs> and i will never be able to listen to edith piaf's la foule the same ever again thanks boys <laughs> it really is so inspiring to see two wacky Aussies who started their journey on youtube to now making an A24 feature film and them being given the opportunity to direct a street fighter film next. I've just recently started my journey on YouTube. I'm about 10 or 11 videos in and this gives me hope. So, thank you my dudes for an outstanding film and for the inspiration. Oh, and I almost forgot the question on my thumbnail. Oscar nomination? Um, you guys are going to be on that list. And the Oscar goes to...